Hello, welcome to my channel, my name is Luciano and today I will talk about the use of the crossbow as a weapon for a survival situation. Uh, some time ago I made a video where I compared the crossbow and uh, air rifle uh, here from Brazil, a model called Rossi uh, one of the most basic models of air rifles uh, that we have available here in Brazil and uh, this crossbow that I have uh, which is uh, 120 pounds uh, crossbow uh, very basic model just like the Hossigioni so uh, it's fair to compare uh, the, the basic models of each weapon uh, in a test and uh, I will show you some of the the images of the test that I made. Primeiro carabino. Bom, como vocês podem perceber, penetrou aqui no alvo, penetrou o segundo e parou aqui na entrada do segundo sabão, né? Bom, vamos analisar isso aqui. Bom, ele tá bem aqui na pontinha mesmo, não entrou muita coisa para dentro aqui, ó. ó. Ó o chumbinho ali, ó. Tá aqui o danado. Não chegou a deformar muito, né? Então ele entrou. É, um... Bem. Como vocês podem. Parece que a seta penetrou o primeiro, o segundo chegou até a terceira, talvez tenha chegado até, a, chegou até a terceira barra. Opa, tá aqui. Penetrou duas barras, mais uma pontinha aqui. Vamos lá, vamos medir isso aqui. Então aqui, como vocês podem verificar, a seta da crossbow entrou, perfurou essas duas barras totalmente e chegou a entrar um, um pouco a ponta. Tem ali. Vamos comparar o diâmetro é, da perfuração causada pela, pelas duas armas. Né? Aqui embaixo vocês têm o orifício de entrada. Da, do disparo da carabina né? e aqui em cima o diâmetro de entrada da, do disparo da crossbow e sequência chumbinho já no jeito And I uh, received a comment of a guy saying that uh, he would prefer 
the air, the air rifle because uh, in his opinion it's a much better weapon uh, to hunt uh, small animals uh, like birds and uh, other smaller animals uh, to get food, to get protein and uh, the crossbow uh, have a lot less ammo than uh, a rifle so uh, he said that, that uh, you can carry easily 200 uh, pellets and uh, in the case of the crossbow usually you have five or six arrows and if you, you, any of your arrows break uh, you will run out of ammo very easily and very fast. Then I made a response uh, here uh, in one of my videos in Brazilian Portuguese and one of my subscribers uh, from abroad, uh, Highlander, asked me to make a version of this video in English so you can uh, hear my opinion about this. First, thank you Highlander and my response for, for, him, for him was that if you have an air, air rifle uh, and 200 pellets if you need to hunt for food and you will shot uh, some birds for example too, uh, usually those, those animals are very small and very alert because they, there are some uh, bigger animals that predate them and uh, so it's hard to, to hit them and uh, you have other ways to, to catch uh, small birds and small animals like using traps for example and if you are a good shooter and you, you will not miss your shoot and uh, you only need to gather birds uh, for your, your food and do you not, don't need to provide food for your family, for example. Maybe let's say that you will shot uh, three birds uh, a day, okay? So three shots a, a, three shots a day and, and you have 200 pellets. In 66 days you will run out of ammo for your air rifle and if you don't have the resources and the knowledge to make pellets for your air rifle uh, in two months uh, your, your weapon will be useless you may take the wood of your, your air rifle and make a fire with it okay? uh, but when we talk about the crossbow, the things is a little different because yes the crossbow uh, shots an arrow and we know that uh, these arrows are uh, just a piece of crap because they are made of aluminum a thin uh, aluminum uh, by the way and if you hit uh, something hard uh, like a tree or a rock uh, with this, this bolt uh, it will uh, be scrapped uh, very fast and uh, for example here I have six bolts for my crossbow and the thing is that if I, I lost my, my six bolts for the crossbow then uh, I will need to find uh, other ammo to shut uh, with my crossbow and the thing is uh, in this, the case of the modern crossbow the recurve crossbow uh, they may shoot other types of arrows so for example I may take uh, an, a, a bow arrow and put it uh, on my, my crossbow and it will shoot and not only that I may easily very easily make a uh, improvised bolt for my crossbow okay and i will show you uh, this crop this bolt that i made and well it's very uh, very simple and very ugly uh, very gross bolt that i made uh, the wood i bought in uh, a pet shop and uh, this uh, piece of wood use is used on 
bird cages. So people that raise uh, birds uh, usually buy this kind of uh, doll to use in the cages. And uh, the tip is made of metal. You can see here uh, it's not even fixed and it's a metal broadhead uh, that I made and I made this arrowhead uh, from a uh, spike that we use here in Brazil to make barbecue yes, uh, this kind of spike is very common uh, here in Brazil almost every house have one of them and they are very cheap to, to buy uh, they have no, no cutting edges and even the point uh, is a little blunt it's only enough to pierce through the meat uh, to, to, to make your barbecue okay? and uh, what I made was I cut uh, the point of one of the spikes and I flattened it against my anvil and then I cut the profile of the arrowhead and uh, with one of these I may uh, create a lot of arrowheads to make uh, a lot of improvised boats just like that and uh, if you're not in Brazil and you don't find uh, this kind of spike for barbecue so easily don't worry you may use a uh, machete for example you may buy uh, a long machete and you have a lot of metal here to process and create your own arrowheads and uh, going back to our improvised boat here uh, the fletchings are made of uh, a kind of tape uh, that uh, here in Brazil we call it silver tape and um, a very simple fletchings uh, made in for this boat and I know that some people that shoot crossbow bows may be saying that uh, this is not really a very good bolt and it, it will affect the precision of the weapon but uh, what I want to say for you people is that uh, the crossbow doesn't care about the quality of the bolt that you will shoot so if I pull the, the string and place this bolt if I pull the trigger uh, the, the crossbow will send the boat uh, with no problems and okay it may affect the accuracy of the weapon but depending on, on the distance and, and your ability with the weapon uh, the, this effect may be minimized okay so the crossbow is a very very good weapon for a survival situation in a, in a crisis because it's very easy to manufacture uh, the ammo to shoot uh, this this kind of weapon in my opinion the crossbow is one of the best uh, weapons that you may choose uh, to, to protect yourself and to, to hunt for food on a survival situation. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please leave it on the comments below. And if you're not a subscriber from my channel, please subscribe. Well, I hope you liked this video and I see you later.